What we thought we'd do is we thought we would do a, a little behind the scenes. You know, it's day five and uh, I did it a couple of days ago and we're going to try it again today. So I'm sitting here in the guest position and uh, obviously I've been working over here on this little desk up here. Um, so this is the set that Teradec have kindly put together. Um, it's a glass kind of booth. It looks a bit like a square fishbowl, but it's brilliant because it managed to keep the sound of what is, of course, a noisy show floor. Um, Camera-wise, there you go, you can see it there. And uh, there's me, I'm gonna, I don't actually know where the camera is, but it's somewhere up there. Um, that's the set. We've got three uh, PTZ Panasonic cameras and um, they are covering both the guest, we've got a two shot and uh, uh, one on me as well. So we've got three cameras, they're all movable. And uh, let's go and have a quick look over here. Look, over here is our gallery. We've got Joe, Pete and Steve. Pete currently busy trying to follow me around with a piece. There he is. So. Um, He's controlling these Panasonic cameras uh, down here. He's got a little control unit and he can switch between these cameras and, uh, and move them around at will. Uh, switching wise, what we're doing is we're using a Blackmagic ATEM 2ME, uh, all being switched because the beauty of the Blackmagic kit is that you don't have to have a big uh, panel in order to be able to switch it. So we've got the uh, 2ME being controlled on this Mac laptop here and uh, the beauty of that is in a small environment like this you've still got 2ME switching from a laptop so Pete's doing that as well he is a true multitasker what can I say um, Joe here's the boss basically we do as he says when he says it and uh, he's been putting things together like the lower thirds and just making sure the show runs as fluidly as it does um, so if it doesn't this is the man to blame. Uh, I'm just the presenter, what do I know? Um, over here we have uh, a piece of Grass Valley kit and I always forget it and I'm gonna ask Joe what it is. The piece of Grass Valley kit is a? Oh, T2i. This is the Grass Valley 2TI, T2i. Uh, what we're doing here is we have uh, VTs. So the VT that you see when we go between guests, when, you, uh, when guests don't turn up. Um, for the like, we can play out everything from here. We can upload clips during the show. It all comes up onto the Grass Valley T2i, which of course is plugged into the ATEM uh, 2ME from an input, and um, Pete can sort it out from there. Now sound, well, I would say it's uh, pretty high up on the important scale, and Steve from Teradec is looking after that. This is the man here. And uh, no idea where he's in shot. Yes, he is in shot. And um, Steve, we're using the new Behringer X32, Correct. So this is handling all the audio inputs, obviously mic inputs and audio inputs from video, from video playback as well. Steve mixes all that in real time. No automation here. This man does it as it should be done in real time. So as things move around, as guests turn in and turn up, he can control all the sound from there. Uh, we're going out to the booth um, so people can see what's going on outside. So we have big screens outside and of course, we are streaming to your good selves uh, over the internet and we're using Stream UK for that. I'm going to climb up here, see if the old day five legs will let me do it. Look at that, they will. I'm going to come back to my position over here. So this is how we're doing it. I like to think it's working fairly well. Uh, Teradec have done an absolutely brilliant job. Uh, of course, it's all being encoded via the Teradec cube and being sent over the wire via Stream UK to you guys. Um, I've been very happy with how it's gone uh, these past five days. The guys have done a superb job. I hope you've enjoyed the content.